Hi, welcome to another video. How to create a new project in Micro C Pro for PIC32. So specifically for Steve, yes, they have made it more difficult to create a new project using someone else's C file. So let me show you how to get this example that's in the link into a new project. Hi, welcome to another video. So if you're not familiar with how to open a new project for the first time, especially using someone else's C file, I'll show you how to do it. So I'm using Micro C Pro for PIC32, but this would apply for the ARM and the basic Pascal. So if you've got all these windows, well, you will have all these windows as a new user. Uh, so to get rid of them, see this little like a thumb tack. Just click on it and it turns sideways. And then when you come off it, it disappears. Code Explorer, thumbtack, hit that. Right, that's got rid of this. Project Manager, hasn't, uh, there's a thumbtack, yeah. Get rid of that. Project Explorer, hasn't got a thumbtack, so go to View, Project Explorer here, undo it. And I've reduced the size of this window because probably some of these menus might not have been showing up. So library manager, there's a thumbtack there. Check it. Right, that's how you get your basic window. And I see my capture is in the background, so let me get rid of that. That's it. Hopefully the screen is small enough so the video capture or screen capture isn't cutting anything off. So because I've opened this, I set it to how you would expect to find it when it's brand new, but when you open your you know, IDE, so Integrated Development Environment, for the first time it would be blank, but I've got all these previous projects here, and it's a project up here for Steve, which is why I'm doing this video. So let me shut this down, and I'll walk you through it. Come over here, shut this down. Right, Right. hopefully this is it, brand new page. So this is your IDE, so you want to start a new project. So for the beginners, if you want to start a project and you're not sure how, just open the examples. Open the examples, now your IDE would default to examples. So you pick your development system or environment here so this particular example, I'm using Easy Pick Fusion version 7. So I'll go in there and I've got all these examples. So ADC demo, button, can, Ethernet, you know, LED blinking, lots of stuff, well, TFT. If I open this TFT, for example, if you've got a TFT, you'll see these are projects. Now, a few months ago, you could open a C file bring it into your IDE, build the C file, program your device, and save the project. Now you have to open a project. It's made everything more difficult. Don't know why, but that's what they've done. So this is a project, so it's easy for a new user to open it. But if you want to bring in a C file from like the link in the previous YouTube video, it's more difficult. So let me shut everything down. So cancel. Right, so start a new project. Standard project of Visual TFT. So Visual TFT was incorporated into this IDE just a few months ago. So standard project. Next. So my project, and this is specifically for Steve, but hopefully will help many other people. So we'll call it Steve. My project Steve. Leave the project folder in the default. And when you're installing your IDE, leave it at the default. Otherwise, it'll just complicate the issue later on. On 80 megahertz. Now, this is normally unchecked, but open edit project window to set configuration bits. I'll leave this checked. Next. Well, it says it says the project already exists, so it doesn't matter. Yes. Right. Add file to project. Now, if you've downloaded it to Downloads or Documents, you'll find it, you know, there. Mine's already in C, uh, Micro C Pro for PIC32. So there's my sine wave that I put on YouTube just the other day. So I want to incorporate this. Double click. 
or single click and open but don't do what I used to do you know click on this the fold yeah the file is not in the project once you found it and it says it there's so a basics of a sine wave go add that's now in my project next well right, include all default li include libraries include all default that's like the ADC TFT libraries UART button SPI can all the libraries for the various different functions so include all as a novice finish now because I ticked that box for configuration settings this has come up uh, you'll get used to it the more you use it but essentially this is the important bit so if you've got the micro C Pro for PIC32 you've got an 8 meg crystal on the MTU card that's divided by 2 here so that gives you 4 megs then it's multiplied so PLL phase phase lock loop multiplier multiplies it by 20 so 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 multiplied by 20 gives you 80 megahertz the important thing here go down the bottom watchdog timer enabled disable that if you're not familiar with watchdog it looks at so many instructions per second and if it's not seeing them the program might have a glitch and it's halted it will reset your ECU it will reset your microcontroller and the program will start from the beginning so you can have a count here so like a small count or a large count before it resets but I just disable the watchdog so disable and I know someone who yeah this has called them out because I gave them a, yeah, a sample program they didn't pay me for it it kept on resetting so I didn't tell them that this was why anyway so once you've disabled your watchdog timer go OK right now so I created a project new project and it's given me a new file a new C file with a void main but I don't want this I want the one I imported come over to here hover because you've hit the drawing pin my project so this is the parent project folder hit the plus and the plus for sources this is one I want and this is the one it created you can't get rid of the one it created until you've sussed out the one you want if you've got header files you'd import them here so let me just run through this oh actually I forgot to double click on the file I want this is the one I want basics of a sine wave double click it's now opened the file I imported here and you'll get red lines all the time under various bits all the time you haven't programmed it or if it includes something that's not been checked in your library but at the beginning we include it all so if I go over to library manager you can see everything is checked so the libraries are ADC can uh, compact flash GLCD fonts um, micro SD card all that sort of stuff so now it's saying it's probably it's, this has come up automatically it's saying do I want to yeah what do I want to save this file as so my project C go save it already exists so just go save but I don't want this my project C I want mine and mine this one exported so this imported C file has got its own main so I go back to the original C file that the project created which we gave the name my project Steve so get rid of this C so I get rid of this main right now we're just concentrating on basics of a sine wave C the file you imported so now I can build this or rebuild all sources and providing you've got your USB key or dongle or your license you won't have a demo limit down here and if you haven't got any errors you know there'll be no errors down here so we're all good to go so I can build and program So if I open this, I'll wait for the programmer to come up. So when you build and program, assuming you've installed your programmer drivers properly, 
the programmer will come up and this is now programming my board here and then that's now programmed my board and I've got my sine wave on the TFT but no need to show you because it's the same as the link from the YouTube and this is showing you all these statistics so but I've, you know, I've got no errors so the main thing we, we want to do with this we've got an extra C file we don't want we deleted the main so come over here to project manager sources now we've built it this pro my project Steve C we can get rid of that remove file from project you can only do that once it's seen your new C file and built it if you try and delete the original C file too early it will come up the ID will come up a fault restarting so that's it we've now built and programmed that that external C file a few months ago you could simply import a C file here build it compile it and use it but now you can't you've got to build a project so if you made a mistake in the settings of the microcontroller you can come up here edit and you can edit here and if you've messed it all up you can just click on default or you can load a scheme and they've got some examples this is an example I'm going to show in the next day or so mp3 layer I think it's pretty nifty but so these schemes are the like the clock settings and everything for your microcontroller so you can edit them with this box here edit edit them there like for example you might want to enable your watchdog timer or peripheral clock divisor so this is your for example your SPI runs off the peripheral clock and it usually has to be divided by 8 which is the master clock divided by 8 so go OK anyway that's I've now imported that external C file you know, built it compiled it and ran it and that's it it's job done uh, and at the beginning I've just got my couple of fonts up there one has a pi symbol which I created and one doesn't they're just the numbers to show on the TFT if you want to import a different file from somewhere else and it's got headers come over to here so you've got sources and then header files you would right click then add existing file so if I click that because I right clicked on the header file look it's looking for header files so they end in H not C hopefully that makes sense so for a new user just play about with these tabs so this basics of a sine wave dot C so if it was in my documents I can now go save as that's saving that specific file so you can see there basics of a sine wave dot C and it by default it's going to give you your by default it's going to give you the location of your IDE integrated development environment so that's micro C pro for pic32 and I could just go save but it's already there but I can still go yes save it if you want to save the project that's the important bit project save as so we already had to give it a name in the beginning so it defaulted to my projects and I just put on Steve at the end I could say you know, says my project underscore saved I could just call it that now and just go save do I want to save the changes if I've made a mistake no I don't want to save the changes if I know everything's right yes I do want to save the changes that's it uh, whilst you're in here I keep on seeing a lot of other people with various IDEs they they say search um, you know, conversions for like ints to uh, uh, an int to a hex or something you can either use Windows calculator or down here quick converter if I pull this up it's actually easy to use Windows calculator but there you go 
Oh, so decimal. So let's say 255. That's telling us hexadecimal, it's FF. So 0XFF. And that's a binary representation. And that's actually an ASCII character. So there's a quick converter down there. Back to messages. So that's it. That's how you import someone else's C file. Uh, and you, unfortunately, you do now have to create a new project. Uh, don't know why they did it that way, but they have. So we have to live with it. Hopefully this has helped. Helped you, Steve, and maybe other new users who are pulling their hair out with a new software that they're not familiar with. And yeah, I was there many years ago. You'd, how on earth do you use this? But that's how you use it. If you're looking for a window and you've you put a cross on it and it's gone, just come up to view and you can find the windows here. So I got rid of this Project Explorer, click on that. Project Explorer pops back up there, but it hasn't got a tick notice or little thumbnail. So you can't auto hide. But the ones we did auto hide, so Code Explorer, look, thumbnail, thumbtack, come off it, it will disappear. Project settings. If you want to run the debugger, you can run it in normal release mode. So you just come up to run, start debugger, and have a play about with that. Tools, so you've got ASCII chart, GLCD bitmap editor, HRD terminal for the USB, interrupt assistant. Uh, there's lots of things you can do in here when you right click as well. So if I wanted an interrupt, new interrupt here, I could go right click, interrupt assistant here, and then call it what you want. So let's say interrupt. And then what do we want to use as the interrupt? And you can just scroll through here. So like timer one, capture, compare, that sort of stuff. I2C, SPI, UART. But the more you use this IDE, the more familiar you'll become. Uh, and I always say, which is why I bought uh, Micro Electronica software, is open the examples, pick your development system. In my case, it's the Fusion. I used to have the Micro C Pro for PIC as well. I've still got the the idea you just haven't got the board anymore. I could learn programming because they had examples which give you a building block into start, yeah, starting to understand programming and then you can go on from there. A simple ADC. But as I say, these are now projects, so they open projects. A few months ago, you didn't have to open a project. You could just import a C file, build it, compile it, use it and save the project if you want. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you very much.